So for this particular video, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, this particular year, I've been using art more as a means of art therapy, and that's partially why I haven't shared a lot of my art um, online because it's been very personal to me and I have been processing through a lot of stuff. But for some reason this week, I felt like I really wanted to share with y'all just something that I have been processing <laughs> for a while now, but I kind of just had this eureka moment um, processing myself and specifically processing with art. So I'm going to be showing you what I painted and then kind of sharing with you what I've written down um, to kind of process through what I was feeling and putting and kind of abstract idea to this particular painting that I worked on this particular week. So I'm going to be reading to you what I wrote and kind of learned and kind of sharing with you how I go about mentally processing and working through stuff as well as trying to relate something that I'm working through through art. Because I find that if I can relate something that I'm learning or basically processing through with art, I typically can hang on to that thought a lot longer than if I just process it on paper and then walk away from it. So it's kind of helping do two things. It's creating a visual format of basically what I am learning and tying what I'm learning into a visual format so that when I see that in the future, instead of thinking about a journal entry that I have written, I have an image tied to that particular um, processing that I was doing. So anyway, that is going to be this particular video. We'll see how it goes. I just felt like doing it this week. And um, so yeah, I'm gonna be reading what I processed through as well as showing you the time-lapse painting of me working through this process. Getting older sucks, and while not having the same energy level I used to have in my 20s does suck, or not being able to binge a tub of cookies and cream ice cream without paying for it later on the porcelain throne does put a damper on things for me. I'm not talking about the actual act of getting older or age precise, but something else that I've been struggling with over the past year. So I grew up in a fairly conservative evangelical home and from diapers through adolescence, I was fed a steady stream of logic that just didn't quite mesh up. I was told to love everyone, but oh, not that person over there because of X, Y, Z. Stand up for what you believe in. Oh, but don't do it if it contradicts what this person says. Ask questions freely except for those unspoken forbidden questions that you know you're not supposed to mention. Now looking back and trying to put a visual picture onto what I've been processing, it almost feels like all my life, since I was a child, I was given these little rocks. Each rock had its own idea, own concept. Basically, I was told to take these particular rocks and then balance them into a delicate tower which would then formulate how my thoughts were supposed to be constructed as well as how I operated and viewed the world around me. Now, the problem with balancing rocks is of course, they're hard to balance. A lot of them are round, a lot of them have their own different edges and quirks, and though it can be done, it's not easy. And it's especially not easy when some of those rocks really don't have a place in my tower. At first, when I came to the realization of this, I was really angry and I just wanted to completely deconstruct the entire tower that I had built with these rocks over the years and throw it all out. It was honestly extremely hard because it felt like a part of myself had deconstructed itself along with a torn down rock tower. And while at first it was very freeing to basically just get rid of the tower, I started to feel this extreme depression and anxiety that I had thrown out core elements of myself along with those elements that were toxic and should not be included in my tower. 
And this is why growing up sucks to me. Because as an adult, I now realize that some of the rocks that were given to me as a child do have merit. Basically, they're little gemstones that look completely ordinary on the outside. But then there are other stones that are completely made of clay. Basically, if you crush them or put any pressure on them, they will crumble. And if that happens, your tower is going to come crumbling down. Which means that I have to deconstruct every single rock that was given to me as a child and really evaluate whether it belongs inside of my tower. Because I'm going to be completely honest, every single person, no matter what different belief systems they have, no matter what race they come from, no matter their sexuality, each single person is building their own tower of ideas and core concepts that build and make up themselves. The problem is trying to figure out what rocks actually have substance to them that will not crumble under pressure and which rocks are basically toxic ideas that have been kind of shoved into your face with a bias and a prejudice. And this is where growing up for me really sucks because it's taking basically a very, very close look at myself and trying to figure out what are toxic traits that I have included in my life, biases that I have included in my life, and trying to figure out how to get rid of them and really work on myself to try and work through those things and get them out of my tower. And here's the real kicker. Currently, right now, I have this little tower of rocks that I have been building upon themselves with ideas that I really hold to right now for me. But six months from now to a year from now, I might have to deconstruct that tower again. And I know it's going to be a lot, a lot of work, but that's the part of growing up. Growing up means that you are constantly building as well as deconstructing and building again in order to create a better structure for yourself and basically for how you view the world. And that is why I decided to build this little tower of rocks um, to really illustrate this concept. Each of these rocks are supposed to be an idea that I am putting into my core self. Um, but at the same time, in a year from now, I might change this order. I might remove one of these just depending on what I'm seeing at that particular time. And that is the process of growth. That is why we are constantly changing and trying to improve. If you don't see change, chances are you're not improving yourself and you're not growing. And change is hard. Change is incredibly hard especially when you're dealing with, for me, I'm dealing with narcissism in my family, as well as just toxic traits that I have unfortunately put upon myself and trying to figure out how to deconstruct those and then put back the pieces that actually do have worth back together without really holding on to the hurt and as well as the anger that can come up through that process of deconstructing and then building back up. So anyway, that has been a lot of my processing this particular year. I've been doing a lot of other stuff with processing. Um, I might share some more of this in the future, but I felt like sharing it this week, which is probably a good thing. But anyway, um, so I painted watercolor rocks. <laughs> Um, and I built them in a tower to illustrate kind of what I've been processing over the last couple of months. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's very, very different compared to what I usually do on this channel, but I just felt like doing something different this particular week and I'm going with the flow and doing different stuff this year. That is the whole point of this particular year is just sitting down and doing different things, whatever comes to my mind at that particular moment. So I hope you enjoyed this once again, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.